Hi there, Real Chicken Nuggets, it's me, Carl. Welcome to Grill TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grill TV. Remember last week I was trying to get part of a local theater production? Like a play? Well, guess what? <laughs> I got the part! Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank the Academy. My main mom. You're out there. Mwah, mwah. Love you. And the 12 Uncrustables ate this morning. Thank you. I just can't express how excited I am for this amazing opportunity. I mean, this has been a dream of mine for like, like forever, like a, like a, like a week. And it's finally come true. And I spent forever like audition, or practicing for the audition, which I nailed, by the way. But now, I don't know what to do. Hmm, I guess I could have a quick celebration dance party. I could count how many fingers I have. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. I'm missing five fingers, I'm supposed to have 10. Oh wait, <laughs> they're over here. One, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I could have been bad. I could have ended up like my uncle, four finger Phil. Pet tigers are always a real bad idea. Anyway, I just don't, I just don't know what to do now. Plays at the end of the month, so I, I guess I'll just take a nap then. Appreciate you kids stopping by. Uh, I'll see you later. Carl? Nah, give me back my fingers, bitch, old cat. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> what are you up to, Grace? Oh, nothing much. I just figured I would pop up and congratulate you on getting the part. Thank you. I'm so excited. <laughs> I bet. I also wanted to see how the line memorizing was going. The line memorizing what? Your lines? For the play? You know you have lines, right? Is this a test? Because if so, I think I'm going to fail. Oh, Carl, every theater play has lines. You memorize them so the other actors can help you tell the story to the audience. I'm sorry that I'm the one to tell you this, but I figured you knew that. No, I didn't know that. How could I know that? I'm not a rocket scientist. Ah, this is awful. It's not that big of a deal. You still have plenty of time to memorize them. What? When? Whenever you're not practicing on stage at the theater. So much of an actor's work happens all from behind the scenes. Whether it's them not taking the time and forgetting their minds, or them practicing and getting them perfect. Really? Oh yeah. But we even see something similar in the story of Esther. Awesome! I love story last week. So what happened? Well, you remember the man named Mordecai who helped Esther, right? How could I forget? He changed the game with his advice. Totally. Now, Mordecai was out by the gates one day when he overheard two men talking about something really devious. They were making a plan to kill the king. King Xerxes? That's crazy. What did Mordecai do about it? Well, now that his cousin Esther was the queen, he went to her and she went to King Xerxes. She told him the plan the men were making and that Mordecai was the one who gave the message. Oh, that's pretty cool. Gave Mordecai the credit and he saved the king's life. He sure did. Now, after that, some time had passed and there was this man named Haman. Now, Haman was King Xerxes' right-hand man. And when he walked around town, people would bow before him. Even Mordecai? Well, that's the thing. Mordecai loved God with all his heart and refused to bow to Haman. And as you can imagine, Haman did not like that. So it was then where Haman's plot of destroying Mordecai began. Oh no, he's my favorite character. Now Haman's trying to cut him out of the story. Man, come on, why is Haman being such a hater? And that's not all. He wanted to get rid of all the Jewish people at that time. All of Mordecai's family and entire community, gone. He wanted to get rid of the entire people because he was just mad at one man? Yep, it seems like it. So Haman made a plan to talk to the king about it. 
but later one night, Xerxes couldn't fall asleep, so he had someone read him one of his old journals. They were filled with history and old stories, and it was at that time Xerxes was reminded of the story of how Mordecai saved his life. Uh, yeah. How could he forget? Well, Xerxes was once again so grateful for Mordecai's help that he knew he had to thank him or honor him somehow. Well, what did he do? King Xerxes went to Haman and asked him a question. What should be done for the man the king delights to honor? What does that mean? King Xerxes was asking Haman's opinion of how he should treat a person who he likes a lot. And now it's important to know that at this time, Haman had thought Xerxes was talking about him. Damn, no way. Right? But Haman was convinced, so he told King Xerxes that any man he chooses to honor should get a nice robe from the king. The man should be paraded on one of the king's horses all throughout the town. He should be celebrated by everyone. You know, I actually agree with Haman. Sounds like a very nice thing to do for someone who just saved your life. <laughs> I think so too, and so did King Xerxes. So the king told Haman to go find Mordecai and do exactly what he said. Ha <laughs> ha! Now Haman was in charge of celebrating the man he despised and wanted to get rid of. Haman spent his behind the scenes plotting how he could hurt Mordecai and all the people of the Jewish community, while Mordecai spent his behind the scenes helping others and loving God. Wow, I guess you're right. We all have time behind the scenes and we all have a choice of how to spend it. I guess I should spend my time like Mordecai, studying God's words, helping others, and just doing good. And memorizing those lines of yours. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. Hey kids, we have an awesome big idea for you today. And that is, God helps us do good behind the scenes. So let's shout it out loud like we're on a stage and the people in the balcony can't hear us. Ready? One, two, three. God helps us do good behind the scenes. Perfect, standing ovation. Now, make sure to tune in next week to the next episode of Grow TV. It's gonna be a great one. See you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow TV.